Hey there, Mr. G. Well, uh, I'm sitting in the house, sir. An old blue biking doll here. He sent me something. He said, Walt NPA has challenged you to give the the uh, seven question challenge. I said, man, I forgot all about that. And I'm telling you, it just happened. And I just put this on there. You wouldn't be watching it. This is fresh. This is today, August the 24th. I said, man, I forgot all about that. I sure did. Anyhow, it's been raining. I thought I'd go out there and do that. Just get that done. Uh, anyhow, uh, this here is the, uh, the seven questions. The first one says, uh, what influenced you to buy your first bike? Well, uh, I've always liked motorcycles. My first bike was a dirt bike years ago when I was just a little kid, you know, just a young boy. I think I was 10. Been riding them uh, on and off ever since. Uh, I've always liked them. Uh, bought my first road bike, uh, I believe I was 17, and uh, I've owned several. Uh, and that's good and bad in all bikes. I mean, I love my little Harley there. It's all about selling it, but I don't like a wheel. I believe I'm going to keep old Gypsy. Uh, it's been pretty good to me. I like to have me wearing my street glides. I may get one one day, I don't know. Anyhow, I better get back to this. But that, I don't know what influenced me, I just always liked them. What type of uh, riding do I prefer? Groups or solo or what have you? Uh, I like I ride a whole lot by myself. Uh, I got my mother here with Alzheimer's. She ain't walked in four years, and it's hard to it's hard to get out with a group and really what you say take a long trip. It's just about impossible right now at this time. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I ride a lot by myself, but I like riding with a good group. People are safe. I mean, you know, at least go to the speed limit a little over. That's all right. Don't drive, you know, down the road like something, like a world's on fire. <laughs> I rode with some people like that. Well, they like to roll on and go through a curve on the wrong side, and that ain't for me. But uh, I prefer the back roads. Uh, like the back of the Dragon. I know it's a popular road there. You know, it's popular because people come and ride it. We got all kinds of roads around here. Like it's just as good, really. Uh, several back roads. And uh, that's my favorite riding, really. Favorite tri uh, trip to take, uh, day, weekend, or longer. I'd like to take me a long road trip. I'd like to really, I mean, go for a while. Uh, I mean, a month or so. I'd love to do that. I really would. But anyhow, favorite destination. That's number four. That would be uh, favorite destination somewhere. Uh, on a country road, it sells good food. Because I do like to eat. I sure do. You've got to eat. It's like putting gas in your bike. If you don't eat, you ain't going to ride. Makes you feel better when you eat. As long as you don't overdo it. The biggest lesson. That's number five. What is the biggest lesson? Well, my biggest lesson is when I hit a dog. And killed the dog and tore myself all to pieces. That's for sure. That's the honest truth. Get your chin up and get your eyes out there. And watch where you're going, because uh, that was years ago. Uh, that's my biggest lesson. Watch where you're going and watch other cars. Somebody, you see a car at the intersection, just go on and figure he's going to pull out in front of you. Go on and be prepared for that. And when you see one coming, figure he's going to on top of you. He's going to come on your side. Just be ready. Have you an escape plan? That's, that's, uh, that's the way I look at it. I really do. I don't go down the road all white knuckled and tore a piece. I enjoy myself. I'm relaxed and comfortable as I can be, but I keep my eyes open. Words of wisdom for new riders. That's number six. Well, if you're a new rider, and uh, you better get the feel of that bike before you get out on the road. Get uh, get your confidence up. Get comfortable with it. And uh, I recommend you go to a riding academy. They can help you and show you more stuff than... Uh, Mr. G, that's for sure. They can help you a whole lot. Uh, save your life. Show you stuff that nobody else can show you. They just got a way of explaining it. I'd recommend that. If you're a new rider, go to a riding academy. I, I really would. And then go to a big parking lot. Put you some cones. Cut around them and this and that. Play with it a while. Get you an old bike. Uh, it don't matter if you drop it. Don't get you a real nice bike to start with. Get you one if you drop it. Let drop it. Forget about it. You'll get you'll get figured it out. That's just my opinion. Any planned destinations? Rides. Yeah. Got one planned. September the 11th. That's the one I got planned. 
Blue Bike and Doll, NC Stoney, Big Al's Compound. They're going to meet here at the back of the Dragon somewhere around 12 o'clock. That is September 11th. We're going to ride across the back of the Dragon. Doyle's going on down the country. And these other guys, I hope they hang around because I want to ride again the next day. Uh, anybody wants to go all night with us, meet us down here. Don't be late because old Doyle, he might eat fast and want to roll on. <laughs> I don't know. We really ain't. Ain't said exact time, but somewhere around 12 o'clock. And on the 12th, Saturday, going right again. Going to try to leave about 11 o'clock. Don't know, but the next video I'll let you know where we're headed to. I sure will. And I'm going to pass this challenge on now. Uh, I think I'm going to pass this on to Mr. McStash. Mr. McStash, seven question challenge. Here they are, old buddy. What influenced you to buy your first bike? What type of riding do you prefer? Favorite trip to take? Weekends, days, or longer? Favorite destinations, number four. Number five, what is the biggest lesson you ever learned? I'd like to hear that, and I'm sure you've got some to tell us. Number six, any words of wisdom for a new rider? And number seven, have you any planned destination rides, except to come see Mr. G? All right, then. Let us know. I want you to do that there. I'm going to pass it on to Mr. McStash. Today's shout-out is Mark at Home Bees. Check him out. Now, uh, he's, his wife's on there with him a whole lot. This is the way it comes in on my comments. That's why I give my shout-outs out. Check him out there. Check all these guys here out. They've all given me shout-outs, done a super job for me. They really help me, and I appreciate it. I really do. Easy right here. Yeah, I think he broke his collarbone. He had a little accident there. He's doing all right, though. So, uh, thank each and every one of them again. This has been Mr. G, 1965. Let us know if you want to go with us. Just let me know. We'll catch you later. Uh-huh.